I want to believe that sport has given me joy in my life. I remember when I was growing up, I used to, you know, leave the house, go to watch football, and there is this uh, attachment that I had for sport. And today, I, 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 I've watched other international competition. I've, 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 I've come to realize that uh, the importance of sport infrastructures can actually inspire somebody to become great, like the Lionel Messi. Just imagine the Lionel Messi without an, a football infrastructure where he was born. He would have never been who he is. So if I never, if I grew up without a, a sport uh, uh, infrastructure, I believe that there are young ones who are growing up with a talent, with a burning talent in them. And if there is this sport infrastructure, tomorrow they can be something and help their family and why not their community. Secondly, I believe that uh, infrastructures bring a lot when it comes to economy. Imagine a football match playing in Bamenda with hosting about 25,000 people. Now imagine the economic likewise. There's this mama that's selling her puff puff. There's this hotel infrastructure that's hosting, uh, you know, uh, uh, athletes who are hosting fans who come from, 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 from uh, other places. Imagine a Sunday relaxing around a beautiful stadium, watching a beautiful game. Imagine uh, players playing beautifully. And secondly, we, have, uh, we are talking about our, our, our competition not being mediatized. Imagine the kind of, uh, 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 imagine an international TV wanting to buy our, our rights. Uh, sponsors will not con come in because the kind of infrastructure will not paint a beautiful color. So I believe that if we have a beautiful stadium in Bamenda, even if, even if it's just one, it can bring a lot of sponsors that can help boost our economy in the region and as well help inspire young uh, athletes who want to who want to watch those in, uh, on the TV and can actually have something near to what they see on TV and produce almost the same actions. The action we see uh, Messi producing, I don't think if Messi comes here in Bamenda, he can produce those same actions. It's not possible. Among the many things that we also do here at Miro Entertainment, of course, to add, just to indicate that we cover weddings, we do uh, corporate events, you know, we do television production and many other things. So we also do sports as well. And so this week, um, we decided to change, to, to, to reflect a little bit on this lack of sports infrastructure in the Northwest. You realize that when it comes to the Mount Cameroon Race of Hope and a couple of other sporting events involving Alit, those from the Northwest do very well. But there is no sport infrastructure. Just like the football teams, we'll talk to you at the time, Northwest teams are actually battling to take the leadership positions of their various posts in the ongoing Elite One Championship in Cameroon. And you realize PWD is defending champion. From, two, from many years back, in fact, from the year 2000, when Kumbo Strikers won the Cup of Cameroon till date, Northwest teams have always had a very strong representation, either at the National Interpose or in the Elite One and Two Championships and other competitions in the country. You know, and then we keep wondering what is happening? How is how do the teams prepare so well to be able to get to that level despite lack of sport infrastructure? Let us listen to a few fans we spoke to on March Day in Bamenda. So I think uh, what motivates young people to engage in uh, the sporting domain in the Northwest region, despite the lack of infrastructure, first is that passion, the love for the game. Uh, most young people are now beginning to develop a lot of passion in uh, football, in uh, be it male or female, in uh, uh, sports as a whole in the Northwest region. And uh, I think this is the driving force behind uh, the exceptional performance of uh, young people in athlete, athleticism or sports as a whole in the Northwest uh, uh, region. Uh, besides uh, this uh, passion, a lot of young people are beginning to understand that uh, there is money in sports. So uh, they are engaging in a sporting uh, domain more and more because uh, they are seeing the success stories of uh, those who had dead in uh, this particular venture. So uh, they are doing it for the love of the game, they are doing it for the money, and uh, I strongly believe it's because of the love of the game and the money that uh, despite the lack of infrastructure, 
they are able to make these enormous sacrifices to thrive in the sporting domain as a whole. The first thing is we have the raw talent in the region which speaks of itself from our performances you will see that we have a real talent in the region. That is the first reason. The second reason is we have that intrusive motivation. The motivation that says that we are working too hard. We are working too hard to make it, to announce it to the whole entire country that if we can have the structures that these other regions do have, we would be on top of a chart in the whole country. We will beat the West region, we will beat littoral, we will beat central region, and we will be on top of this. And possibly even what Cotton Sport is doing is less than what the teams from the Northwest, PWD and Young Sport, even Funchal Street respectively, will do. The determination of the athletes themselves we want to prove to the world that uh, despite the fact that there's no uh, infrastructure, they can still you know, showcase their talent. Then secondly, I want to say that the kind of support that some of these athletes have in the Bamenda and the Northwest region, we don't see it anywhere in Cameroon. For example, you see a game in Bamenda, despite the fact that there's no infrastructure, the kind of support, be it on the pitch and off pitch, it tells you that uh, these players themselves, they are motivated to play without infrastructures. The Northwest coaches are doing a marvelous job in preparing their team physically, tactically, and I want to say morally. Considering the lack of infrastructure, at the level of the Northwest region, and if we want to take into consideration the level of football, the quality of football the teams in the Northwest region are performing, especially when they go out, I think we want to see credit goes to the technical 